guess I can do it now. Hey everybody, I'm headed out to uh, Western Missouri, further about an hour west from where I live, and we're gonna pick up a puppy. We got all the kids in the car. I can't really see them. The wife's over there. And uh, yeah, no more cancer videos. We're not gonna focus on that anymore. We're gonna do outdoors, what this channel was originally made for, squirrel dog. So we're heading to this guy's house now. I'll do a video, hopefully, after we get the pup. So, all right, see you then. Well, uh, it took us a little bit longer. We, we finally got there and we ended up talking to the, uh, the guy who uh, had the dogs. And we ended up getting two. And not just touch as one squirrel dog. You know, we got two treeing feists. Um, they're uh, they're registered actually, which is which is neat. Um, I'll up, I'll pull out those registration papers later and show you guys. Apparently, uh, uh, I guess it'd be their great grandfather was like a, a grand champion or something. Really high, you know. I don't, I don't know, but you know, it was good. But here we are. We're back at home. I stopped and got them a little crate, and then they're. Going around, and they're looking at the new kitten. It's our geraniums we grew in our greenhouse this year. Here's Millie. Millie, what do you think? What do you think, Millie? Millie's she's she's not impressed, and and Huckleberry, you know our other he's he's in the pen over there because he's really not impressed with them. Um, yeah, no, it's it's great. Uh, so I'll take up the video tomorrow morning. When we uh, we get out with them and squirrel training starts tomorrow, you know it's just they're about nine ten weeks old, so they're ready to go. So we're gonna start them on uh, trying to get uh, squirrel hide, which means we need to go kill a squirrel, and uh, and we'll get them started chasing that around and stuff. So it starts tomorrow. All right, it's the next morning. We're out here in the greenhouse. Man, it's bright out here. I can barely see that. Um, we got the pups out here. They're just chilling. It was raining pretty good this morning, but uh, it's let up now, so I'm take them outside and play with them. Just a little clarification: we're just keeping one of the puppies, and the other one is uh, going to my mom or my brother, I think. Um, we just went ahead and took both of them. These are the last two off the guy's hands because um, he needed to need to get rid of both of them real quick. So we went ahead and took took them. So, but yeah, just we're just me training the one for squirrel hunts. So just a little bit of clarification. Here. Greenhouse is absolutely beautiful here. Let me, let me show you some. Love those salmon colored geraniums, man. They're the best. Oh, here. Here's my Johnny Jump Ups. It's all winding down. Most everything's sold by now, so we just have the leftovers, the scraps. So, all right, all right. It's a few days later. Didn't uh, it's been raining. Didn't get a chance to do much with the dogs. Haven't found a squirrel yet. Out here, I'm gonna go get a squirrel. Got one of the little ones with me. Well, the big ones. But all right, let's go see what we can. Well, we just knocked one out of the tree about 35 yards away through this real thick stuff way up there on that bank luckily I got the bloodhound out looking for it Isn't that right Roscoe man look at this patch of mulberries there's thorns everywhere I'll just stay back here and send him in but the squirrel should be right up in there somewhere it's gonna be a little tricky to find but we're gonna find him like a, having a hunting dog right through the thorns I don't know why I said mulberries just then or did I I meant gooseberries gooseberry bushes ever there's a bunch loaded with green gooseberries but loaded with thorns as well yep there he is we had to come up and give him the coupe de gras but right next to him besides that mulberry thing is huge I thought that was pretty cool but yeah, so yeah, there's the squirrel. Dad had, he, had to give him the coupe de gras, but nice big old fat tom squirrel. This time of the year, that's what you want to be shooting. Got burrs on him, but I don't didn't feel any ticks. So, all right, now we just got to get him skinned and get him home to the dogs. 
good job. Roscoe's the one that found him. I, I would have not even come close to finding it without him. I don't get preachy or anything, but I think there was a learning moment in the woods. You know, it's like when I shot that squirrel, I was probably a little too far away when I shot it because it fell out of the tree. And when Roscoe came up on it, it was definitely still had some fighting. It wasn't really moving, but, you know, it was definitely still had some some fight in it and uh, I think you know like I said not trying to get preachy with you know people with, with kids and getting kids into hunting but you know I, when I went to finish them off I think it's important to keep your cool as an adult as a parent you don't want to freak out you know I had a 12 gauge or I had a 20 gauge the boys 20 gauge is what I shot them with and uh, I think you know somebody could easily just you know freaked out and you know squirrel down there you know still still alive and uh and just shot it again with the 12 gauge. Is that close with a kid with you? That's just terrible. That's the last thing you want to do. God, that'd be awful. But yeah, so you know, it's important to keep your cool. You know, don't make it weird. Don't make it, you know, extreme. It's just a normal thing, you know. I don't know. So I just, and then I, after I did it, I told them how to, why, you know, why you finish them off like that and how to do it. And yeah, that's the way to do it. What's this? Huh? What's that? What's that? What is that? What is that? Come here. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Come on. Come on. What is that? Come here. Up. Oh. Come on, Chester. What is it? What is it? What is that? <gasps> what is that? that squirrel? Get him. Get him. Get that squirrel. Is that a squirrel? You want him? That's a squirrel? Come on. Come on. Ah, get that squirrel. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get that squirrel. Squirrel, get that squirrel, get that squirrel, get that squirrel. Ah, his first squirrel. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd appreciate it a lot if you'd uh, like and subscribe. That'd be that'd be awesome. Um, it's the first of hopefully a lot of videos about training uh, squirrel dogs. So, yeah, follow along. Thanks a lot, guys.